Hello everyone and welcome back to Z Interactive, your own training institute and I'm Zishan Shah. So we are going to start with our lesson 6 and we will learn how to create small dents or different sort of dents uh, to, our in, in our, uh, to our substance like if you have some kind of damages like some dents going on over here. So let's uh, like without further ado let's go with it. So I will just move over here. Now we can make dents with so many in so many different ways, but the one that I like is through like a uh, like different sort of uh, blending nodes with fractal like fractal sum, Gaussian spots, and then leveling about uh, leveling it up. So let's do with uh, use that method. So I will just go here, spacebar, blend, okay, then shift, put it here, everything. And then take my output node from the last blend and put it inside the new blend here in the background. And then I'll choose add over here for now so I can see everything what's going on. And then later on, we can change it like what we have done so far. Now I need a noise node and I will choose a fractal sum to which looks like something like this. I really like this because it's kind of like subtle and 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 very uh, like organic sort of things you know, organic uh, type and then I will use spots and there are a lot of spots uh, but the one I will use is Gaussian spot it kind of look like this like blurred Gaussian around and there are some settings over here so I will put it here okay let's do some changes in the Gaussian spots so the uh, if I will double click it here the values I will not change but I will apply a level to it and and here as well and I will change the level values of uh, I will change the levels of these two so first let's change the levels of uh, fractal sum of uh, fractal sum 2 and double click it and I will just click on this button the values so I can do manually okay this one level in low I will increase it a little bit here uh, 0 0.1 something like this okay and then level high I will keep it as it is a level in mid I will keep it as it is everything else I will keep it as it is let's increase a tiny bit a little bit tiny bit let's see how it works I, a little bit here Oh no, it's going too high. So let's 0 0.01125. Something like this. Okay. So the same. So 0 0.11. So 0 0.11 I will keep it here. And I will now change the value, the level levels of the Gaussian spots. I will double it here. Then values here. Uh this one. I will go a little bit higher. I just want to reduce the number of these spots. So maybe 0.56 or 0 0.59, something like this. Yeah. 0 0.58, I will keep it. Okay. And then this one, I will reduce this high value. I can make whatever there are I want to make them more prominent so 0 0.78 yeah that's fine mid-level values let's see if I increase a little bit uh, this this is this is enough and the rest I will keep it as it is now I have all these so now let's blend them so spacebar blend take these together add them or no sorry I think overlay overlay is better so you can see that can you see this around like uh, if I go to copy you can see that this is fractal uh, noise okay if I will go to add what it will do is that it will add these spots but what I want is that I want these spots but they're uh, highlight like this uh, blurred outline I want them to have this fractal noise so I for that I will use overlay so whatever this blur area is it's 
will catch that fractal noise it will give me some sort of a grungy uh sort of a bracket like background here now what i will do here is that i will make this blur causing uh like a high blur hq grayscale okay and i want the quality to be higher but the amount to be very low maybe 0.72 will be okay that's fine and then the i will create a levels value here and then i will double click this go to the levels value so i can manually uh, fix the uh, fix these this one i will keep it as it is these two mid value i will make it 0.6 okay you can see or 0.59 something like that 0.59 is good okay and this output maybe 0.5 no make it 0.4 yeah 0.4 looks fine and I will blur this one as well. Blur HQ. And this blur HQ quality high, density low, maybe 1.5. Uh, no, much more. 1.3 or 1.36. It's fine. Okay. Now I will blend them again. So spacebar blend. I will take this one, put it up here, put this one in the background, and this time I will screen value. Let's see. Okay. Now one final level I will use here and that was a value here and what i will do here is that everything as it is except for the level how high i will use it to so it will be not that strong 0 0.07 later on we can change this one if we want or 0 0.075 okay put this here zoom out I will take this, put it here in the blend, and you can see it's popping out, but I don't want to pop it out, I want it to subtract. So I will do subtract from here, and you can see that it is subtracting here. Okay, but this is too harsh, like it's too high. So what I can do here is uh and plus it, uh, and plus it is uh, too much uh, blurred out so what i will do in the blur hq i will reduce it to 0 0.5 or something okay it's too low this is 0 0.5 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 Okay, so whatever it was before, I think that would be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Or 0 0.5, I think let's put that. So 0 0.5, but the levels here, I might go and reduce it to 0 0.05 as well. too high still too high 0 0.02 not it's too low so 0 0.03 i think levels is, are fine so this dent it going downwards good okay so we have some dents here so 
that's how you can make some uh, make some dents over here and increase you can increase the size of these uh, also like suppose oh uh, you can you can take uh, it from here then you can use distance okay and just both of them source and distance there increase the maximum distance something like this okay and levels and then we can take blend okay Of look like very awkward right now because the values we have to change it here like suppose maximum distance we choose only source no something like this then we can reduce the levels this sort of a effect you can get out of it and here we can use add in the blending have both of these okay and one more thing you can do add blur hq grayscale it can get buried okay. levels we can more decrease it. Okay. So this like sort of an effect like you know like if you have some sort of dent here so it's not just directly there it is affecting the, the surrounding of it so we can go here and reduce the maximum distance maybe we can make the distance eight or we can make five oh sorry five not fifty eight yeah so something like that Okay, so this is optional like the, these you can add some optional you can do so much of this so maybe you can only give these okay from here you can create it but uh to make it more realistic as much of you will work on one so something it will get you much more better result so i hope you have liked this uh like video like this tutorial and thanks a lot everyone for joining this lesson i'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and i hope to receive your support continuously i have noticed that uh, many of you are watching my videos but have not subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications i'm up, up, up uh, like which are which is about my new contents i will be uploading soon so if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions then leave them in the comment section below i will try my best to answer them as soon as possible and one request i have and that is i have noticed that many of the viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them so please if anyone of you is doing this and if you find someone doing them please stop them because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off and it will demotivate me so I don't want to stop making tutorials for you all. Therefore, help me to get new subscriber. I will take off now, everyone, and take care, guys. Till we meet in the next class. Stay, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. There is one important announcement I would like to make. I have started three great membership plans on my channel. I have introduced ZDI Friends membership plan which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on commission. 
I have also introduced ZI Early Bird Plan, which will give access to Z Interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZI Premium Plan, which will give access to advanced professional tutorials, which you will find at very, very expensive outside. And I will be giving this and a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.